Yabe mo obi biya kwa badi aba smart gana update so we a eh, news update for frokra ne de baba somu abusiya ena president nana do dan kwa kufuado e eh, de state of the nation's address ay eh, chatuo eko eh, tuja wa parliament ne abusiya oba abe wye no e eh, wana interesting bit ni nina epi eh, wa bra wako kan se ay eh, adye se obe handi over power ama a credible candidate and as a flag bearer ama na baby di wa my gana so abusiya eh, ena odine ni chire bebi a vice president dr mahamadu ba umia eti eh, no now, no, no, I was speaker, no, so be so ma, or no, so passing the final remarks, no, or no, so make a comment, be say, Ghana is down, now, baby, a druno, ye here say, Ben, you be a, or Baba rise again, a beam, I was young, just so make a comment, be say, sank off our way, ye in tea, I was young, nay, interesting. And on that, you know, and now, and some more, President and another Dan Quaco Fado, Eddie Bugu Hono, or Makache, majority leader, after your mark and say, Uncle, near Obeka, after home. I was young, or sorry, no chairman, on the second emotion, no. I was young, then, and a minority side, and also, so, a sorry, yeah. At the first in Chima, and your President and another Dan Quaco Fado, and our Philly, or any vice, no, and our Philly, ain't he, sad driver and mate analogy, need ye, or Monfuaso, near Tosumi, and also, so, a canoe for Riata, now appointment, our modia man, see, see, you know. Enu, eno mu chile mwa, se se diye kamiwa kwe se, yewo domestic finance minister, eni yewo international finance minister. Ebu siya, na parliament wo, e dekeke. Ebu siya, di omu kan, e di chwa atuwa ni se, gana fwo, enya diya so mbe fi president na nado danko haku fwa do da. Ebu siya, nini nye e chino, omu se aso supportu, mo chino, e ma speaker, e movi, e pase. Ebu siya, yenti e diye kwa somra. And therefore, even on the few occasions, the sections of the house, they don't want to make me welcome. I was still able to manage. <laughs> I have one more scheduled date with the House when I'll be here to give an accounting of my time in office. By that time, my successor would have been elo elected. <laughs> and, and we will be getting ready for the swearing in ceremony. The elections will be held peacefully, and the candidate with credibility to take us on to a higher level will win. Let me wish all of us well in the elections on 7th December. But as we say, Sankofa is permitted. And we have done that. Honorable members, but to emphasize that Ghana is out. Actually, we are down, but not out. And Ghana will rise again. I want to call on the majority leader to indicate the nature of the business on the floor. Mr. Speaker, on such an auspicious occasion and considering the optimism with which Mr. President has spoken to the nation, and Mr. Speaker, you are right and Mr. President himself acknowledged that considering the situation we find ourselves, we are down, but we rise again under, under the able leadership he is providing and the future which is assured. Mr. Speaker, we are by the practice of this House ready to debate Mr. President's message. Considering that the situation we find ourselves as a country, Mr. Speaker, we are ready to debate this message now. However, Mr. Speaker, as has been the practice, members would want to prepare. And I noticed that the minority leader was jotting down a lot of notes. I need to remind him that I have with me the 2014, 2013, and the 2016 State of the Nation Address. And all of these were full of lamentations. So, Mr. Speaker, I don't know what he was actually jotting down. But if it was, any, it was a, a, a debate he was preparing for, Mr. Speaker, I want to assure him that we will face him with this optimism and remind him of the lamentations of 2013, 2014, 
2015 and 2016. Mr. Speaker, without more, I shall pray that this house be adjourned to tomorrow at 10 in the forenoon or soon thereafter. Mr. Speaker, I so move. And I urge my colleague to second the motion. That is a practice. He should second. He should just second. Today is not for debate. Mr. Speaker. Fortunately for me, my mentor and coach is still available. I'll see the tutorials. Yes, would indeed. Yes, that is true. There was a there was a smooth transition. There was a smooth transition. We had a smooth transition. We had a smooth transition. We had a smooth transition. Mr. Speaker, I am encouraging Dr. Fossil to only second this motion. The rules of the house are very clear. It shouldn't go outside of the rules. Mr. Speaker, Honorable Atu Fossil, please second the motion and let's adjourn. Leader. Right, Honorable Speaker, let me, on behalf of the NDC minority, thank His Excellency the President for his message on the state of our nation. But, Mr. Speaker, the unemployment situation in our country is at a critical point. Mr. Speaker, the hands that will record me today. Mr. Speaker, the unemployment situation in our country is at a critical point. Yet, yet, we did not hear a word from our president on this matter. Mr. Speaker, out of 33 million population, only 11.3 million are employed. This number includes peasant farmers. Mr. Speaker, the difference between the 33 million and 11.3 million is what I call ninja. No income, no jobs, no assets. Honourable members, honourable members, honourable members. Whether, whether you are a front bencher or a back bencher, I see you. <laughs> My not that you may continue. Mr. Speaker, this means that three, two out of every three Ghanaian is unemployed. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, 30% of our youth are jobless. And about 4.5 million Ghanaians plus, employable Ghanaians plus, are outside the labor force. Mr. Speaker, this simply means that this number have simply given up on their search for jobs because of years of frustration and disappointment. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, the state of our nation is hopeless. No wonder that an ordinary Ghanaian, including professionals, are leaving our shores in droves. In droves, in search for greener pastures. Mr. Speaker, finally, Mr. Speaker, I am scandalized. I am shocked to the marrow to have noticed that 
our president, following the recent ministerial reshuffle, has increased the size of his government. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, today we have a Minister of Finance Domestic and a Minister of Finance International. Members. Mr. Speaker, one dollar today is 13 cities. During the time of President, President Mahama, one dollar, three cities, 80 persons. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, a vote for Alaji Baunya is a vote for President Tekufuado's death. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, to conclude on this matter, Ghanaians voted for. Ghanaians voted for Vice President and are paying for the Vice President to support you to succeed. Mr. Speaker, you cannot fail, the President cannot fail alone. The President will have to fail together with the Vice President. So, Mr. President, you have failed with your Vice President. Mr. Speaker, I conclude. I conclude by saying that Ghanaians will not miss President Kufuado and Alaji Baunia. We know you are going. We can only wish you bye-bye. We can only wish you bye-bye. But you will never be missed. Mr. Speaker, I second the motion. Members, the motion has been moved and seconded. I now put the question. As many as are in favor of adjournment, say aye. As many as are against, say no. I put the question again. As many as are in favor of the motion, say aye. As many as are against, say no. Honorable members, I think the ayes have it. Honourable members, the eyes have it. The House is accordingly adjourned till Wednesday.